<laughs> just seen that one clip of him kind of like holding the, the base like this. I just, I have to assume that one of these takes, he just absolutely clobbered his camera with the, like the head of the guitar. Just like spins it a little bit too much and just wham! Hey guys, how y'all doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. I hope you're absolutely all having a blessed day today. On this episode, I am checking out Tommy Johansson's metal cover of Waterloo by ABBA. Now, I, with a lot of these older songs, I've probably heard them before, but if I was asked to name it while listening to it, I probably couldn't. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm excited. I haven't listened to Tommy in a while, and I'm excited to hear Tommy do Tommy things. So let's just get into it. I shouldn't be shocked that Tommy owns a keytar, but also at the same time, I was not expecting to see him buzz out a keytar. <laughs> but honestly, we're here and I'm here for it. So, you know, it's just, it's just it is what it is. <laughs> I, just, I love the chorus shout that happens when he's just like, oh yeah, just that, man, just, ah, uh, it's Tommy doing Tommy things. It's just, it's the creative little unique elements that he just throws in there to spice things up that just uh, make, it, it brings the whole project together. I can't tell if I've heard the song before or not. I really can't, cause I'm like, I'm listening, I'm like, I almost recognize the chorus, almost, but not quite. And then it might just be the fact that it's the metal cover that I'm not recognizing it, but maybe I've just never heard the song before. I actually can't tell. Ooh, whammy bar, let's go. I love whammy bar. It's just like my favorite effect that it can happen. It's just the thing that's actually built onto the outside of the guitar. I don't know why I like whammy bar so much, but I really do. Anyways. I also love that bass run that's happening too. It just sounds, it, it ties the whole thing together because like the drums sound fantastic. And again, I don't actually know if Tommy has a physical drum set or if he just adds those in either Logic or whatever digital audio workspace that he, that he uses. I don't know if he just has like a set that he uses and controls it with a MIDI, but um, I just said a lot of jargon. If, uh, if you don't understand what any of that means, that's on me, but yeah, no, so I love the way that the drums sound. I love the way that the bass kind of ties everything into it. And also the guitars, man. I mean, I don't think he has enough of a selection based on the, all, the, all the guitars in the background, and he probably has more than that. But I just, I love his, the variety of the guitars that he uses and the intrinsic sound that has that each one of them has. Uh, yeah, it's just, man, I forgot how much variety there is in a Tommy song. It's been, it's been a hot second since I've listened to Tommy, but yeah, it's... Just seen that one clip of him kind of like holding the, the bass like this. I just, I have to assume that one of these takes, he just absolutely clobbered his camera with the, like the head of the guitar, just like spins it a little bit too much and just wham. I just, I, I just, it's such an easy thing to imagine. And I, I bet that happened because the, the bass guitar head is like super close to the camera anyways. So just, I can only assume that he like moved a little bit too quickly and didn't see where he actually was in the space of his studio and just slammed the head of the guitar into the, into the camera. I don't know why it's such a funny thing to think about. Just mishaps like that just make me smile. I don't know why.
Yeah. And he is so good at putting together a choir effect w- with his own voice, like singing different parts and stacking them correctly and having all the correct treatment and the glue to bind them together to make it sound like one thing. He is so good at doing that. He is just so good at putting something like that together. And then I guess I should also say too, on top of that, so there's adding the glue together and then making it all sort of sound like one, but then singing another, seating the lead vocal line on top of that and then making it very clear that there is a distinction between the two. That, dang, he's, <laughs> man, Tommy, I haven't, I've said it once already, but Tommy is very much doing Tommy things with the song. I, I'm, I'm here for it. And then his voice is nicely separated from the, like his, the leading line is up here and then just everything else is underneath it perfectly, but it doesn't feel like anything's out of balance. Everything is kind of like just perfectly put together. Dude, this song is awesome. And then also just watching him just put the video together. He's just like, he's out here having fun. He's just out here having a blast. And that's always so much fun to see because like when very clearly the artist is having fun, it makes it so much easier to have fun when you're listening to it or, you know, just when you're watching the video. Cause you're like, all right, cool. They're vibing. Let's just vibe. It just, it brings everything out and kind of fun is the magic ingredient in a lot of music. So when they're having fun, it's so much easier to have fun. forgot he does that he just like does a stupid high run and he's like all right back to normal all right continue oh that is like the most tame ending of a song that i think i've heard from him no like fade out is just but yeah that was tommy Johnson's cover of waterloo by abba it's just it's always a blast to just watch tommy do tommy things to be honest so with all that being said i hope you absolutely did all enjoy and i'll catch you guys all next time god bless My only chance is given.